We start with the news that the under-fire Greek Prime Minister is in Russia to meet President Putin at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. Some media are painting the visit as Alexis Tsipras being in pursuit of some love, while others run with headlines pointing out his guest star status, the Greek PM being fated while his country's on the brink of collapse. RT's Marat Gazdiev is at the Forum in St. Petersburg for us. It'll be the Russian president and the Greek prime minister's second meeting in two months. So it's a cozy relationship, if enigmatic. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's, it's uh, been a point of uh, great contention what exactly uh, the Greek prime minister is doing, what game he's playing, what he's trying to do with this shift uh, towards Russia, towards the east, whether he's trying to uh, eat concessions out of Europe and the IMF uh, with regards to Greeks, uh, Greece's uh, loans or whether there's uh, an entirely different goal he has in mind. The Russian president as well, he was asked uh, whether he's using Greece as a Trojan horse in order to split Europe apart. Regarding mythology and Trojan horses and so forth, the question would be valid if I was the one going to Athens. We're not forcing anyone to do anything. We're simply open to joint constructive work to achieve the best result for our peoples and economies. The Greek energy minister and his Russian counterpart have signed an agreement on uh, the Turkish stream, a new gas pipeline that will stretch from Russia under the Black Sea uh, into Turkey and then into Greece. That pipeline, though, has uh, really upset Eurocrats and uh, hawks in Washington. They're afraid that Russia will gain even more energy leverage uh, over Europe. They're trying to dissuade Greece from going along with this. But for Greece, there's an entire bouquet of benefits at stake. For example, there are the transit fees. Greece stands to make millions every year just from letting this gas pass through its territory. Also, it would qualify for gas discounts, which would be of tremendous help for the Greek uh, economy. Uh, so a lot of pressure on Greece, but a lot of benefits at stake as well. Well, there's been a lot of speculation swirling about Alexis Tsipras's trip to St. Petersburg. Russian Deputy Prime Minister Arkady Dvorkovich told us that Moscow is willing to consider financial aid to Athens if needed. Well, we have very strong uh, political and economic relationships with uh, Greece uh, and in the difficult times uh, we always support our partners. Uh, if uh, financial assistance will be needed, we will consider. It's our priority to have stable Europe, uh, stable Greece. And well, there are many countries in Europe uh, that uh, want sanctions to be lifted uh, as soon as uh, possible and Greece is uh, among them. Uh, I think those countries uh, are uh, thinking about business, about their own economies, not about uh, politics. Uh, certainly we now uh, have more uh, intensive consultation with those countries than with uh, uh, European majors who uh, don't want to continue economic dialogue at this point. Uh, if sanctions will be extended, uh, then we will uh, continue to uh, have our food embargo, uh, so we will not allow uh, food products from countries who establish sanctions against uh, Russia. This time uh, we have a big crowd at the forum, uh, including uh, uh, top CEOs from all major uh, European and American companies. From this perspective, it's business as usual, uh, and uh, uh, I can uh, uh, just mention that uh, uh, during this couple of days I have 20 meetings uh, with uh, CEOs of major companies, mostly, mostly European and some American. Just to continue on that last point, the St. Petersburg Economic Forum has attracted over 7,000 guests, including investors, business magnates and major CEOs, one of whom is Francesco Storacci, the global head of Italian energy giant Enel. He spoke to me earlier about a major talking point. The sanctions have not affected us directly so far. Uh, we don't see a reason to leave Russia. It's a big market. Our company is performing very well. And we expect uh, this situation to be resolved uh, shortly, I hope. So we don't really see value creation in any selling move at the moment.